talk to me I really wanna know what you So when I tell you it got crazy on social media last week, it was nuts. The back and forth, the folks just dragging each other, honey. You know what I'm saying? So this topic, um, you know, has caused a lot of issues for people. I mean, no, I mean, cis women don't own womanhood. If we don't own it, then who does? Like, is it the lions, the tigers, the bears? If we don't own womanhood, then who owns womanhood? Like, how are you going to say who owns and who doesn't? That is, that's not fair on our part. And there are people are saying that, oh, she was speaking in defense of trans men, but I've seen a video of that trans woman saying that. Why is it when cis, trans women take the hormones and the pills and we experience all these systems, we can't call their period? If you don't have a uterus, you cannot have a period regardless of what symptoms you're going through. It is not a period if you do not have a uterus. You need a uterus regardless of what you identify to have a period. You know, if Jess started out more, you know, being more objective and, you know, being more valid, I think she would have, uh, people would have heard her more out, even though they probably would have still gotten offended, but they, you know, people would have heard them more out, you say out, if, you know, if she was more, you know, you say a little bit more truthful and not being so emotional about it and everything. So what but part I know I do understand what she's coming part, from. Let me ask you a question. What part of what Jess said was offensive? Was it the part when she was saying where there's a mental illness or whatever, the delusion stopped? Like what part specifically offended you? I mean, I wasn't, no, me personally, I wasn't offended, but I'm just mm -hmm. saying what I can say, they could, I can say a lot of trans people got offended because you know how sensitive they can be and everything and whatnot. So, you know, basically, like I said, I wasn't offended or whatnot. I, you know, is it was just that, you know, the way what the word she was used like delusional and you know and stuff uh, stuff like that and everything. So I mean can I say it is can I say something? Sure. Okay. So when when is it going to be a and I feel like this is why T is opening up this um platform for us to have this dialogue because for so long we have been biting our tongue and walking on eggshells and not being able to be true to who we are and how we feel because we have to be sensitive to the trans community. But how many times over and over again did we get disrespected by the trans community who is coming into our spaces and we have to bite it, bite, bite our tongue. I feel like that's why we're here having these conversations now because we've been quiet for so long. I find it funny with just hilarious that she had all that. I think it was with the tone that she had used. And then two, you were already mislabeled as a trans when an athlete out of your own words that you post on social media trying to out the man without saying his name, he was about to flew you out like you was a city girl because he thought she was one of the girls. Mm -hmm. So when she came off of that, that's why most of us were kind of like, okay, so we already know what it's giving. Then lastly, I found it funny that she had all this gun for us, but did not check DJ Academics the next day when he called, still called her trans. We just going to sweep that under the rug because the whole community wanted to look at who he dates. That's not the point. He's still disrespecting her. Mm. Y'all want to talk about all this stuff. And now I'm about to end it off and land my plane. People keep saying we have all these rights. We really don't. Especially not the Black ones of color. We don't. Because I have to fight too for now to even get my hormones. I can say yes, but that doesn't automatically mean I'm going to drink. I'm going to smoke. I'm going to participate in promiscuous activities just because we may be cool at work. And I think that Lizzo has behaviors that would be completely predatory if it was a man. And we just need to like not put it out there that all oh, because girls have this kind of code that we can just be sexual with each other. Not all girls are like that. And not all women want to be, you know, around women who want to throw their cat in their face and stuff. You know what I mean? Like, right. so I just think that we need to just be open minded to every type of victim because just because you know these women are coming from Lizzo and Lizzo's a woman Lizzo's actions have been questionable since um I think his name is Chris Evans the Captain America guy that she was like being a total creep over first and foremost I hope it's not true with yeah. the whole Lizzo thing because of because that's one thing I hope it's not true because it's going to 
it's gonna make her look real crazy and it's gonna it's gonna hurt hurt her image a lot more and a lot of people that really count on count it on her to be the champion of her positivity and everything is gonna really hurt hurt her in the long run, especially what she's trying to do in the future. Plus, on top of that, when somebody gets picked on or shamed or is 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 hurt, it's an energy that comes with it that if they don't deal with that, they're gonna protrude it to other people. A little bit, yeah. Especially after now, you know, oh, you've gonna fire me. Yeah, and my NDA's up. Yeah, let me go ahead and tell my side of the story, kind of thing. So yeah, I think it is a, a little bit of a clout chase. They're hyping it up more than it actually like I'm not saying it yeah, because I'm not gonna lie. I was waiting for her to be like, we were dancing and we missed a step, and she was like, You fat bitch. But like she didn't say that. So I'm like, well, what did she say? Well, she alluded. It's a lot of, you know, mush mouth talk. Either spit it out or move up or move around and get out my face. Because it's just like you're not telling us, like, what did she do? They're saying that they were shamed. Well, it's like she said it like this, and I felt like she was talking to me. So it is in a way, it's just very interesting the way that they're even conducting these interviews. It's like just spit it out. What was said and what was done. Absolutely. The only thing that we really know is the banana thing, and that was in the court documents. Even they weren't willing to really talk about that right away in clarity. Yo, what's up? Baby, let's go. Hey, tea sippers. To listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the next video.